हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज गफर सर फिजिक्स फैकल्टी वेलकम टू अक्षर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लेट्स स्टार्ट अवर सेशन टुडे गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट सिक्स क्लास फिजिक्स द टॉपिक इज यूनिट्स एंड डायमेंशंस द टॉपिक इज व्हाट यूनिट्स एंड डायमेंशंस सो वन बाय वन वी लर्न द टॉपिक फर्स्ट वी लर्न यूनिट्स लेटर वी गो फॉर द डायमेंशंस नाउ हियर द थिंग इज द यूनिट्स लेट मी टॉक अबाउट द यूनिट्स the units so we can uh, give for the physical quantities so we should learn about first of all about the physical quantities later we'll discuss uh, and we'll apply for units so here the first thing is physical quantities look at here the thing uh, look at the thing here the quantities here we quantities we have two types the fundamental quantities as well as derived quantities look at here fundamental quantities means it does not depend upon the any other quantity the known as uh, fundamental quantities this is the look at here the quantities uh, do not depend upon any other quantities known as fundamental quantities and the units for this fundamental quantities are known as uh, fundamental units so here that is the discussing here the fundamental units means the units of the fundamental quantities are known as fundamental units and the next are uh, uh, derived units and derived quantities derived quantities means the quantities depends upon the uh, fundamental quantities are known as uh, fund, uh, derived quantities and the units for these derived quantities are known as derived units so that is what we are discussing here derived quantities and derived units got my point and the next uh, let's see fundamental physical quantities and units in the physics world we have only seven fundamental quantities okay those are nothing but one is length mass time electric current thermodynamic temperature and intensity of light uh, final one is quantity of substance so these are the units these are the quantities are known as fundamental quantities only we have seven fundamental quantities entire physical world okay and the units for this physical quantities and units for this fundamental quantities are uh, we are discussing here si units the length of si units are meter and mass units are kilogram and time units are second and the current units are ampere and the kelvin is a temperature units and candela is a luminous intensity and intensity of light or luminous intensity and mole is a quantity of substance so these are the fundamental units and the symbols of these fundamental quantities units got it so this is how about, uh, about fundamental quantities with this we can derive derived quantities for example uh, acceleration velocity force uh, momentum these all are called derived quantities it is like uh, the fundamental quantities like uh, alphabets the derived quantities like uh, words okay you can compare in that way also got it so next uh, next topic is dimensions and dimensions formula so look at here what is mean by the dimensions dimensions and dimension formula the dimensions means in any quantity the powers of the fundamental quantities are known as dimensions and expressing the units in terms of the fundamental quantities with its powers is known as dimension formula understand once again i am repeating the dimensions means the powers of the fundamental quantity of a any quantity is known as dimensions and expressing this Uh, any quantity in terms of fundamental quantities with its powers are known as dimension formula you can understand you can understand in better way by an example let's see the examples here the examples why dimension formula for velocity acceleration and force let's see here first velocity if you see the velocity if you see the velocity the formula for velocity is uh, meter per second so meter per second so here meter per second we have to express the dimension formula 
So now look at here velocity. Any time the dimension formula you can express in the square bracket. So I am expressing the square bracket is equal to. So here meter. Meter is a uh, unit for length. Since uh, here you will get uh, length, and uh, second is a time unit. Since you you will get here time. So finally, this you can write as m zero l power one t power minus one. This is how you can express the dimensional formula for a velocity. Now here, these powers are known as the dimensions, and this entire equation is called as the dimension formula. So this is the dimension formula for what velocity. Okay. Next, let's see the another thing. Acceleration. 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 You can write here meter per second square. So when you're writing acceleration, just express this way. Acceleration is equal to meter. Meter is a units for length since it is a l. And time. Time. We have second square, so you can write here t square. So finally, this you can write as m zero. L power one, t power minus two, which means that dimensions of the mass in the acceleration is how much zero. In the same way, in the above case also, dimensions of uh, mass in the velocity is zero. So dimensions of uh, uh, dimensions of l in the velocity is one, and the same way time is minus one. Here also the dimensions of uh, length is one, and time is minus two. So this is the way we can express the dimensions. And now let's see one more thing: force. So force means uh, you can write by using Newton's second law as mass into acceleration. So by using this, here m means mass and e means acceleration. So mass is a fundamental quantity. So you can write as a m m acceleration. Just now we write on here. M zero l power one t power minus two. So finally, m zero m zero l power one t power minus two. Finally, you will have m power one l power one t power minus two is the dimensions of force. So this is the way we can express the dimension formula and dimensions. I hope you have understood. I'll show some example. Dimension formulas in a chart. Look at here carefully. I'll show in a chart. So this is a chart showing the some dimension formulas of physical quantities. Look at here area, volume, mass, density, frequency, velocity, acceleration, force, impulse, and these all are related to some physical quantities. Uh, you can take a screenshot to understand in a better way. So take it the screenshot. Yeah, I hope you have taken this screenshot. So, I hope you have understood this session. So, bye, students.